Well, a couple of months ago I was babbling about various water sensors uh, and I mentioned that I had added a temperature sensor to our hot tub. Today I'm going to babble about that temperature sensor and a few other hot tub automation tips. Um, last year we picked out a spot just below our deck and cut out some plants and pasted in a hot tub. Uh, this is the $7,000 Sundance Dover. It's a two to three person tub. It's a bit tricky to get that bulky tub, 700 pound tub, up the rocky hill, but we found some strapping young lads who were up for the challenge and they managed to get it done. I paid an extra $200 for a Wi-Fi smart home interface for the Sundance um, spas. It's called SunSmart. For other jacuzzi models, they just came out with a very similar app called Called smart tub. Uh, it works okay and allows you to monitor and adjust temperature, lights, and jets, but it does not have a web interface or an API, so it's not controllable via other smart houses interfaces like um, Alexa or Google Home. I did manage to write a somewhat messy tasker routine that would allow me to control the SunSmart app with my smart home. But it was not simple enough to be reliable enough to be useful. And really the only things that are useful to monitor and control are the temperature and power, which we can do via other means. For temperature, I use a $50 wireless tag.net outdoor probe that's similar to the other wireless tag.net sensors I've shown before. It connects to the same $10 Dallas Semiconductor one wire temperature sensor, I think it's called the DS1820, that I use to monitor the water temperatures in my um, solar water wall uh, back in Utah. The electronics is housed in a waterproof IP68 uh, container, so this guy can be put anywhere outside, and it has a 0.1 degree Fahrenheit accuracy and will run five years on a replaceable battery. So the wireless tag software allows for direct local URL calls to your home server, so I have my house getting updates on the temperature once a minute, so I can do this. Hey Google, ask house what is the hot tub temperature? Google's going to ask okay. the house, and the house is going to announce over the hot house. Hot tub is at 94.8 degrees. Announce to my phone that the temperature is 94.8. Uh, that's a, that's summertime temperature. In the, in the winter, we have it up at about 101. So for power monitoring and control, the solution is even simpler. Because it's a fairly small hot tub, we could get up that hill. It has the big advantage of being able to plug into a regular 120 volt outlet. No 240 volt installation required. And that has the advantage of allowing us to use a regular Z-Wave switch. So this is a $40 Aeon lab switch, which uh, has the big advantage of also monitoring power. So in addition to this command, hey Google, turn the hot tub on. You got it, turning turn on, on the hot tub. We, Mail can, has arrived. we can do this. Hey Google. Ask the house what the hot tub power usage is. That okay. will ask the house, which is going to talk to my phone and tell us what the power usage is, which right now... Hot be. tub is currently using 7 watts and has been in use for 0 minutes today. 7 watts is the standby power. So that hot tub power and temperature data gets logged to the house info display along with all the other house data. And if we zoom in on it, in the lower left, you can see the hot tub power in yellow starts off at 0. And up here, the hot tub temperature starts off at 90 degrees. Then it gets switched on, 397 watts. The jets are running a little bit for circulation. And then it, it goes to 1,042 watts is when the heater kicks on. And then you can see the temperature gradually rise from 90 degrees up to our summer temperature, which is 97 degrees. And then it kicks back down to a standby power of 8 watts. And then at midnight, we turn it off again. So the on-off power control is especially useful if you're on a on-demand power rate. Here in Alabama, the normal cost of electricity is $0.08, cents an hour, eight cents per kilowatt hour. But if you opt in for the time demand rate usage, you'll pay $0.25 cents a kilowatt hour for the four months of the year from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m., the peak air conditioning hours. But all other hours and all any hours for all the other months of the year, you're only paying $0.05 cents a kilowatt hour. So that's a significant savings. And we leverage that by making sure the hot tub is off during those 7, uh, 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. summer hours. So with those low rates and the warmer winters we have here in Alabama, the average cost for that hot tub or no, is uh, about a little less than $10 a month. So that lower energy usage makes it much more palatable for my green conscious mind. 
Uh, I'd love to put in evacuated solar tubes like I did in Utah, you up here, but these trees um, vetoed that idea. I got all suited up so that we can jump in yonder hot tub and wrap this up. If there's only one or two people, about the only disadvantage to these smaller 120 volt hot tubs is uh, the jets aren't quite as powerful. Uh, if you redirect the jets all to one spot, plenty enough power you can you can blow people away. I guess there is uh, one other disadvantage and that is uh, it won't run the jets and the heating at the same time, but as long as you don't hot tub for more than an hour, it should be fine. I have one last tip. Put a Google Home or Amazon Echo on the bottom half of a waterproof shelf right next to the hot tub. So you can do something like this. Hey Google, turn off the air conditioning. Hear that compressor in the background? You got to make turn that off four thermostat. go away so you can hear just the peaceful crickets. And also do this. Hey Google, turn on the landscape lights. And magically the backyard you got comes on the alive. Lights. Also, hey Google, turn on the waterfall. The little pump that feeds that you got uh, bamboo Turning pipe behind us that dribbles into the lily pond I showed you last month. So is a hot tub worth the price? We seem to get enough out of it. We use it practically every other night. The real excuse we had for getting a hot tub was to try to improve our sleep quality. Some evidence that hot tubbing before you go to bed uh, gives you better deep sleep or a longer or stronger sleep. So it seemed like getting a hot tub was a good excuse to try that theory out. That also gave me an excuse to get another gadget. This is the Ura Smart Ring. It tracks activity during the day and sleep during the night, distinguishing between deep sleep and light sleep and REM sleep. So I've had both for about a year and collecting data and I think it's about time we try to correlate that to see if this hot tub really does give us better sleep at night. So tune in next month, same bat station. I don't know what bat time, about a month. And we'll see. Till then, um, thanks for watching.